The antimicrobial properties of copper have been known for millennia, but Hippocrates never dreamt up copper pajamas as a method of infection control. That was Amber McCleary's idea. She's a forensic psychology student at Portsmouth University. I've had my fabric tested um, against control fabric, of course, an NHS gown fabric, for example, and there was zero growth on my fabric compared to the gown that the control that was used where there was exponential growth of MRSA. The properties of copper are being intensively researched at the University of Southampton. They already know that bacteria, fungi and viruses all die on contact with copper alloys. The MRSA bacteria in the left-hand image here were stained green and applied to a copper surface. The image on the right shows that all were destroyed in just five minutes. So for bacteria, it stops them respiring, they stop breathing, um, it uh, can punch holes in their membrane, so like a balloon, they start to leak and sometimes explode. It destroys their DNA, which is fantastic news, because that means there's no chance of mutation. Amber's fabric is patented, but she did explain that the copper particles are applied to the thread at high temperature. She's also been doing her own clinical trials, but was able to put it into practice when family friend Gemma Wilby had a caesarean section and the wound became seriously infected with MRSA. Gemma claims the copper clothing helped save her life after emergency surgery and powerful drugs failed to bring the infection under control. The wound smelt. Um, it was painful, struggling to pick up Alfie and then with the pyjamas it cut the recovery time. I was better by Christmas whereas they said it was going to be a year um, so they completely saved my life. Back at Amber's student digs in Portsmouth, her friend models the latest designs. So okay. Maggie, what do they feel like to wear? Um, they're very soft and comfy. You can just steal them all day actually. There have been hospital trials of hard copper surfaces before with encouraging results. Now a group of clinicians in London wants to run trials of Amber's fabric. Caroline Richardson, BBC South Today, Portsmouth.